was it? Did the rush make you drop your eyes at all, or were you able to keep your vision downfield? No, I was able to keep my vision downfield. I think um, a couple times it was just it was there, and I, I don't think there was much places for me to go. But that's um, just me needing to know where my uh, check downs are and get to them. Um, so it's not that I wasn't. Um, wasn't uh, was looking down. It's just I needed to get to my check down faster. Or if I didn't have a check down, I needed to throw the ball away. Um, so just playing, doing that a little bit faster um, is what I think I needed to do, and what I, I have continued to work on. How many times have you played that throw the chick in your head? Oh, oh, plenty. <laughs> yeah, plenty. It's. Uh, I think we did the same play uh, on Monday, and obviously I hit it, and it's kind of one of those just. Okay, the right. <laughs> was right down the chimney. Just yeah, off by, uh, just off by, a, yeah, off by about a step. But I mean, that play shouldn't have happened. I had him earlier underneath, and so we kind of joked with each other like, now nah, we're like kind of even. We both owe each other one. But um, yeah, that that would have been nice uh, to hit that one, but didn't. And you can't, as you say, keep replaying it because then it'll affect you the next time. So. Um, just moving forward is, I think, the big, biggest thing for me and for the offense uh, to do. Jackler's Law Group clients are happy clients, and here's why. Our lawyers are experienced, hardworking professionals who fight until you win, and you pay no fees until we do. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or train crash, we meet you where you are and when you can. If you've been in a crash, don't wait. Call the big dogs now. Let us handle the insurance company so you can focus on healing and you'll see why we were named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the DC Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Dot com. Um, just clearing, clearing up a couple things. Uh, uh, just making sure my reads are correct, and you know, making sure I'm looking at the right things. And um, the plays were there, just whether or not like I was executing, and um, thinking some part wasn't. And I need to, I have got a lot better at that um, over these past three practices and practice yesterday. So I think uh, I mean, I'll, I'll be fine. And I'm, not, I'm not too worried. So. In terms of learning from a game like that, um, what do you? Is it is it just mechanical stuff? Is it is it you know looking at tape and seeing things better? What, what, do you, what do you? Probably seeing things better um, would be probably the biggest thing. Um, usually, I don't have too much of a problem with that, but for, for whatever reason, I was struggling, um, which led to me you know making uh, making uh, throwing that throwing that pick. Um, you know, just not not reading it correctly or not seeing it right. Uh, I thought it was two, but it was a two crash. Or the corner comes and takes. Uh, uh, he comes to like the D gap basically, and then he can rob that grabber out there we're throwing. So not seeing that, um, not seeing as well as I need to the whole field. Um, kind of looking at the backside safety, but I also need to check the field safety, and so he can tell me what else also else is going on. So it was more of just a big picture thing that I wasn't seeing very well, and it's unfortunate, but. Um, you just learn from it and you get better. So, yeah. how, how much does it, as, as, the, as the, you know, you make, you know, have to pick early, some other, other you know, throws behind people or whatever, mm -hmm. how much does that compound as the day goes on? How were you able to sort of pull yourself out of that in the second half, you know? Yeah, the, I mean, as a quarterback, you have to, you can't think about the, that last play. Um, so, just making sure I keep that out of my head and, um, talking on the sideline with Coach and um, uh, our GA, Nick, uh, him just, you know, helped me see it better. Um, that's why we were able to produce uh, produce a lot more in the second half. Um, but like you said, yeah, I was missing throws and I was a little bit off. And I guess, you know, you have those type of days. And um, for me, I, like, I will definitely categorize, categorize it as an outlier and hopefully be able to play a lot better this week.